welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with everyone how I made a starry night theme resin. These three pieces, they are the same set. I made them with the same way, and you can see it's blue starry night sky. I used some crushed glasses in the middle to become like a galaxy. This gold and silver color stone inside the resin are the crushed glasses. I got them from Amazon. The title name to search for this is Crushed Glasses. In this video, I'm gonna share about three different ways that I create a starry night sky of the resins. Let's get started. The number one, the first way I use the color modulation. I try to create some of different color of the resins and then mix them together. Firstly, I prepare four mini disposable cup and then pull the resin into the cups. I'm going to make four colors, black, blue, purple, and pink. My black ink ran out, so this is my Thule other backup. They are very thick. I only need to get a little bit of the black color into the resin and then it can become very very useful and very very thick black. Just a little bit can use for long term. And this is purple color, blue color. I'm trying to add some red into the purple to make it a little bit purple reddish color. You can create your own style of the universe color. It can be any color, like a greenish, a little bit yellow purple, blue, any rainbow color will work. Now I'm trying to make the most traditional classic, little bit pink, with mostly of the black and blue and purple color. Now I have five color options over there and I'm going to use um, one of this black background capal. I wait for about 45 minutes until the consistency of my resin become very very slow and then I start to pull them into the mold because I like them to be not running flowing any way they like. I want them to be more slowly so I can create the color that I like. The disposable toothpick is very very helpful at this point. You can use it to create any of your desired effect in the end. Because it's so thick, so no matter how it look like right now, that is how it will look when it get dry. So add any color that you like.
actually make it a little bit too thick. I should not wait that long. Maybe my waiting time should be just over like a thirty minutes. Then it would be better now. Now it's too thick that it doesn't flow at all. If I only wait for thirty minutes, I believe the color will be even better. Now this is the second day. Now they are turning dry, and you can see they look like this. More of the black color, and some of the blue and purplish, and very tiny bit of the pink. Now this step is my favorite step. It's very simple. I just pour some resin and then add a little bit glitters. Spread it evenly. It will become like a starry night. It looks great at this point. But don't pour too much. Too much, it will not look naturally. Just the properly amount. It will be perfect. This is when I was done. The next layer is the stars. You can tell. This is before they got dry. And after the starry layer get dry, now is the last layer. Is the crash glasses and some of the nail art decoration stuff. This set is the crash glasses. They are the bigger one. This is two to four millimeters, but I noticed that the bright color will fade it if you just directly pull into the resin. So I always use UV resin to cover them first. Now I just finish the arrangement of this and I'm going to use the UV resin to cover the gold color because the gold color will fade. Now let's see how I lay out all the crash glasses. 
just directly pull them into the mold. Date them the way that you like. Use the UV resin, seal it. That's about it. The number two is oil pastels. I really love to use oil pastels to create the background. First, I use the um, oil pastel to draw on the plastic see-through layers. I use the Cricut machine to cut it to be the cat paw size. Oil pastel can get your fingers super dirty, but it's also very easy to wipe away. Use just regular facial tissue paper or any paper will work. I use mostly of the blue color and a little bit black. A little bit black will really turn it to be very dark. This is how it looked like. I love the textures. Use the UV resin to seal the oil pastel and then put it into the cat paw. Now it's after the background was added into the cat paw and 100% dry and I'm going to add something into the cat paw to create a different layers. I like some white color on the bottom. It creates a snowy winter feeling like a winter night. This is when I use UV lamp to dry it. Now it's dry. I use a little bit of this white on the bottom. Well, now this see the number three is use the UV resin and glitters. First, I pull a thin layer of the UV resin. That the UV resin cover the whole layer, all over the cat paw mold. And then use some blue glitters, black glitters, purple glitters, this and that, any color that you would like. But the matters is trying to make them has a little bit texture to the way you like it, not just everywhere. And I also add some silver color of the crash glasses on the bottom. Now this is after it got dry, it looked like this, so I can continue to the next level. 
Okay, that's pretty much about it. The three different ways to create a starry night sky. But that's not all. You can also use the crash glasses or cover the background to be any color that you would like, or also use the acrylic paint to paint the starry night sky. That would be even better. Okay, that's pretty much about this. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. See you next time.